All right, special guest for you today. We're going to go behind enemy lines, really get an in-depth look at the Washington Commanders. And we got our guy Louis T from the Louis T Network on YouTube. And Craig and I are going to kind of go back and forth, pepper him with some questions because we got some questions about these Washington Commanders. That's right, he said do. it on his channel. We, we just talked about it. You know, when we look at, at you, Louis, or at the Washington Commanders, we're like, oh, let's go. We're excited, right? And I know you guys are looking at us the same way. That's right. So this is like an exciting game. So my first question for you, when you look at the Lions, are you like kind of watching us from afar? Are you watching Hard Knocks? Like what's your overall impression of just our franchise, our coaches? What, what's your takeaway when you when you peek at the Lions? Good so I, I, like I said, I, I'm an NFL guy at heart. I always tell Washington fans and they get upset sometimes, but I'm like, I'm an NFL fan first. My favorite player of all time is Barry Sanders, right? So good for you. Know, you. It, it's a, oh, it's a love affair. You're a fan. You're a fan favorite of the channel. It's over. Oh, we can man, end this look, interview, right? I, I got to tell done. you, man. That's the reason I fell in love with the game was Thanksgiving. Sit Same. down, Barry Sanders running all over the place, and he was the guy that captured my attention and made me love the game the way that I do now. So I've always got like a little affinity for the Lions. I always want to see sure. them do better than what they're doing. Right. You're an NFL guy, <laughs> so but good. here's here's what. I want to do, I want to let some of our fans know a little bit more about the commanders because not yeah. everybody's as well versed in that. So you talked about our secondary as what you believe to be a weakness. We've all kind of perceived it that way too. So why don't you hit me on some of the strengths and weaknesses for Washington? First, let's start on the offensive side. How are you going to attack teams this year? What would you say is your biggest strength and biggest weakness on the offensive side of the ball? So offensively, I think that this is the most fun we have a chance to have since 2015, if you're a Washington Commanders fan. That okay. was the year we had Pierre Garçon, Deshaun Jackson, Jamison Crowder, Jordan Reed, mm -hmm. and Kirk Cousins set all kinds of records. We won uh, the division, or we made the playoffs, I should say. Or we, we did win the division, playoffs. actually, uh, and hosted Green Bay. Um, this has a chance to be one of those types of seasons. Uh, so just to give you a little bit of perspective, That's last high year- expectations. Two years ago, we didn't score 30 a single game. Last year, mm -hmm. we only scored over 30 once. And that was 40 or two years ago, we only scored over 40 once. Mm -hmm. And last year, we scored over 30. We scored 30 once. And we had another game where we just fell short of 30. Okay. okay. So we weren't explosive is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. This year... We can score in the blink of an eye. One of the biggest things we wanted to improve this offseason was team speed, explosiveness, and big plays. Every drive was like pulling teeth. 13 mm -hmm. plays, 75 yep. yards, seven minutes of the clock. Anything goes wrong, a holding, a batted ball, the drive's over. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we can be in third and eight, and we got playmakers. We yep. were down to Carolina by eight with 11 minutes to go in the ball game. And we're in a big third down. Carson Wentz finds tight end Logan Thomas, extends the drive. Next play, Terry McLaurin, 49-yard touchdown. Boom, we're back in the game. And Got so it. that's the kind of capability that we have that we didn't have before. So the strength of this team is the playmakers. We have yep. a plethora of them. And we're going to dare teams this year to stop every guy. One week, it could be Jahan Dotson. He had two touchdown grabs last week. The next week, Curtis Samuel had eight catches, was making guys fall all over the place, you know. Um, and then the next week, it could be Terry McLaurin. He only had three targets and two catches, but one of them. Yeah, was and he's your leading receiver touchdown. the last two years. Right. And so yeah. um, the next week, it could be Terry McLaurin with nine targets, eight catches, 112 yards and two touchdowns. We it, Every week, it could be a different guy. And so yeah. the, the strength of the team is the playmakers. And now we actually have a quarterback that can get them to football. Um, on the flip nice. side of that. The weakness of the offense, I think right now, is the consistency or lack thereof of the ground game. Mm. So um, okay. we ran Is that the due to the offensive line or the running back? It's inside? a combination of okay. the two. I also, I don't, I'm not in love with the scheme. You know, we're, okay. we're primarily a gun run team. Okay. We don't mm -hmm. get under center and run a ton. A lot of our runs come from shotgun. And so um, I think there are times where, we like, I hate running to the short side of the field. They love it because you have the numbers, you know, yeah. quote unquote, but I hate running to the short side of the field. A lot of times it seems like we get beat to the point of attack on the short side of the field. And all of a sudden it's a two, three yard loss. Um, every time we try something tricky, uh, we did it against the Lions. As a matter of fact, a couple of years ago when Stafford had that ridiculous, you know, 
drive in like two seconds. We had the face mask penalty in 2020, <laughs> and, and your kicker, yeah, I forgot Never his name. Uh, Prater. Prater, Matt Prater kicks like a 58 yarder and beats us at the gun. Um, so sorry. <laughs> we yeah yeah it's it's okay we've been we've been down that road with you guys but you know so many yeah. times Stafford broke our back in 2016 with a crazy drive in 43 seconds we're used <laughs> to it when we play the lines I'm glad he's gone I don't have to deal with him anymore I'm so glad it's Jared Goff <laughs> now but yeah um you know we tried a little trickeration against Jacksonville with the same thing we tried against you guys in 2020 and it went awry you know lost like 10 yards so the run game for me is something that is inconsistent it's hit or miss hey 13 yard gain two yard loss gain of four no gain gain of yeah, one sure. gain you know loss of one so it's hit or miss um that's to me is the part of the offense that needs to be more consistent it is the upfront in the run game I, I don't think we're more of a finesse offensive line personally i don't know if we're a masher type of yeah. offensive line blow you yeah. off the line of scrimmage create a new line of scrimmage type of being so yeah that makes What's, sense what about defensively um we'll do defensively then we'll get uh one more question than your prediction as well so no, don't don't leave we're gonna get his prediction but what about defensively strength and weaknesses so uh defensively um our strength is our front our defensive front. it has to be you've yeah. put so many but, resources into yes. that defensive yeah. front what is that four first round picks four first round picks on the one's defensive hurt. line one's missing in chase young mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it's it's first round picks across the board essentially. Montez yeah. Sweat, uh, the sure. Alabama Wall of Payne and Allen. Uh, we're starting mm -hmm. James Smith Williams at the other defensive end spot. So, um, yeah, that's where the resources have been poured. Uh, we just lost our backup defensive tackle for the season with, to a torn meniscus. He was a second round pick. Excuse me. So, took a hit there depth wise, but yeah, really like what those guys did in week one. Um, we we pressured. Uh, Trevor Lawrence we hit him 11 times you know sacked him twice really really just disrupted his rhythm he was yeah he was never comfortable um, he missed some throws he should have hit there were opportunities and the reason there were opportunities is where I'm going to next is the weakness is the secondary okay so the linebackers in the secondary make up the weakness of this defense because the linebackers are one's inexperienced and the other is solid he's not great but he's serviceable um, okay. The the corners are hit or miss. When they're yeah. on, they're outstanding. When they're off, <laughs> they can be beaten and beaten badly. And yeah. th there were opportunities against Jacksonville. I mean, they get a one-on-one -on -one matchup. This scares me because the last time we played you, DeAndre Swift had a field day. It, yeah. It, that was one of those games where because we couldn't stop the run, we had to go to our five-man defensive front or mm -hmm. a bear defense. Because we couldn't stop the Detroit Lions run rushing attack with just four guys up front yeah. on the line. And um, he's also a receiver out of the backfield, right? Yes, he is. Yeah. And Travis Etienne ran a wheel route on the opening possession of the game up the sideline. He is as open as it gets in the NFL. It's an easy touchdown. And Trevor Lawrence overshoots him by three yards. Yeah. And we caught a break. And so they had to settle for a field goal. Um, it's those type of opportunities that – Golf isn't going to miss. You say what you want about Jared Goff. He's not going to miss that type of throw. And yeah. if he has time, he's pretty accurate. He's, he's pretty yep. accurate. Exactly. He really is. And they they had other opportunities. They had a, a, a deep post. Uh, we came with some pressure. It was a one-on-one -on -one look up top. And the receiver got inside and behind William Jackson, the third. And Trevor Lawrence just threw it too far inside, a little bit too far. He dove. He couldn't get it. We caught a break. There was no safety help. If that mm -hmm. thing's in stride, that's a touchdown. We had another right. one on the opposite side where, you know, he, he runs a takeoff route and Kendall Fuller is just a step behind. But if that ball's put out there, I don't know if he scores, but it's a 35, 40 yard gain. And so um, we've got our struggles in the secondary. And so uh, we'll be getting one of our guys back in, in Cameron Curl. He should be back, uh, broke his hand in the preseason, but I uh, think he's going to be able to go week two. But the guy that filled in for him was one of the players of the game for us, our young safety, Derek Force. So okay. I like the safeties. The corners leave a lot to be desired. Um, mm -hmm. And then even in the slot, Benjamin St. Juice is a bigger guy. He's 6'3". Is he know? out of Minnesota? Yes, he is. Yeah. Out of yeah. Minnesota. Big guy. I don't know if he's truly a nickel corner no you know, he's, he's more of a boundary guy <laughs> but he can play and, there and they're sticking him inside so i still don't know like the jury's out on how good of a nickel corner 
he is. So okay. I think the secondary is the, the weakness right now. Love it. Um, so we, no, we've talked about this. I, I'm going to I'm going to hit this one, Chris. Yeah. We've talked about this even when we were on your show mm-hmm. um, and we talked about like expectations for the season. Mm-hmm. Um, we know over here for the Lions, we look at the commanders and we're like at home. This mm-hmm. is a game we should win. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you guys? What's your realistic expectation? I don't need like a long thing. I just want to know, like, or is this a team that it's playoffs or bust? I mean, like, what is your expectation for this team this year with the weapons you have with Rivera as the coach? Like, how are you feeling? Like, what's what's the fan base looking at? Everything is dependent on Carson Wentz. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, yep. as far as he goes, that's where we're going to go. As far as the and NFL goes. Exactly. Yeah, you got to have that guy. It's the most important. I always say it's the most important position in all the sports, but specifically in the NFL. It's the most important position. You can't get past it. You mm-hmm. can try to insulate it all you want, but at the end of the day, that guy's going to have to make some plays at some point in a mm-hmm. ball game that's going to either win you or lose you the game. And so Wentz is the guy that we're riding with. And, you know, I think for me, I can't speak for anyone else. For me, my expectations are extremely high because the roster is set up for us to succeed, but not only the roster, the schedule is set up for us to succeed. Ah, we you know, know that feeling. Excellent yep. schedule. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what we did to deserve the schedule that we got. You lost <laughs> that too. You, that helped. You lost games. But, That's but you did. have to also look at we're playing the NFC North, right? Yeah, no, no one's afraid of that division. You know, the Packers. They That's look how we feel terrible. About the East. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Everyone yeah. feels the same way about the NFC East. Like, hey, we should beat the yeah. Giants. We should beat Washington. Yeah. You know. So, um, and then we play the AFC South, like. The two divisions that you would ask for, we got them on the same year. So it's like, (laughs) oh, my God, we have to take advantage of this. Yeah. So for me, it's this is a big year. Like anything less than 10 wins and I'm going to be disappointed. Really? Okay. Okay. No, love it. That's so. So with that, then. I want you to tell me how big this game is for you to go two and oh, it's a manageable game. And then uh, give us your prediction to close us out. So how big is this game Game for you guys as a franchise? And then give us your prediction, please. Oh, this game is massive. This game is huge. Last week was massive. Huge. Because for Washington, we've gotten off to slow starts. That's our MO. You you know, when Ron Rivera got here in 2020, we won his very first game and then proceeded to lose the next five. Okay. (laughs) We haven't been (laughs) over 500 since that game in week one in 2020. We yeah, just yeah. got over 500 for the first time since that game in week one. Okay. Yeah. Last year we started the season off. Um, let's see. We were, we went back and forth. We, we lost week one. We won week two. We lost week three. We won week yep. two. And then we proceeded to lose four straight. Okay? okay. We were two and six. We looked like we were dead in the water. We hit our bye. We can come off the bye. Brady staring us in the face and somehow we magically beat them. And we won four in a row, got back to 500 before COVID and injuries depleted our roster. And we, lost the last four out of five games. So okay. love it. for me, we have to get off to faster starts in game, like in the game. And then overall in the season, in the season, the schedule yeah, is set up for that with Jacksonville and Detroit, the teams with the Let's number go. one and two picks overall in the draft this season. Yep. Oh, so yeah. week one and this two, is a big game. <laughs> this, this is, you is, gotta yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the game that you have to win, you right? You have like, to if, have it. If you're and for, and for us, this is the game we have to prove that, like, nope, we're making progress. Yep. This is the exactly. progress. So give us the prediction. What what are you going to do? Who's who's coming out with the W? Remember, so, you're in Ford Field. Just remember that. Yes. <laughs> it's I, loud. Yeah. I was impressed loud. with the environment against the Eagles. Yeah. And I saw some things that, that do trouble me, specifically DeAndre Swift. Um, mm-hmm. He worries me. Jacksonville doesn't have a great – crop of receivers Mm -mm. but they did go out and sign christian kirk and he was worth the money six catches 117 yards against us killed us in the slot okay and so look out for st brown in the slot Almora st brown that's where i was gonna go is Mm -hmm. the guy that i'm circling and saying hey anybody but him Mm -hmm. okay anybody but him if it's josh reynolds anybody but him knock yourself out I but it can't be him and so um, I, I look at this game and I say, if we can protect up front, if we can neutralize their rush, they cannot cover our skill guys. They just can't. No. We got too many. Uh, but if fortunately, I agree with you. If we yep. can't protect and Wentz gets fidgety back there, it could get ugly. So yep. I think the key is up front, have to protect. Um, 
And if we do that, I see us putting up points, man. And if the Eagles can score 38, I'm like, why can't we score 34? So I got us scoring 34. I got this game being the 34 to 26. Washington gets the victory uh, over the Detroit. Love Lions. it, man. No, that's you got it. You got to pick your team. Good, for dude. You, absolutely. And you guys, that's <laughs> you guys are good. This is great. And and I love this because you you said it before. You just get so locked in on your team. Mm-hmm. I mean, not, not you, you know, yeah, you know, every team, yeah, but yeah, I no. get so locked on my team that I'm like, we're the greatest. And it's like, no, man, like, look at the Other commanders. Teams get better too. Yeah. Like, look at all, look at all their <laughs> weapons. So we appreciate you doing this. Really give them pers- some perspective the on the commanders. Washington commanders. Give us one more time where to we find like you, name. where, where we can find you. Cause you, you cover all 32 teams. So where can we find you on YouTube? Um, you can find me anywhere. Um, I'm on Twitter at oh, yeah, Louis T network. I'm on, uh, IG Louis T network underscore, mm-hmm. I'm on Twi- on uh, YouTube, obviously, uh, Louis T um, Network on YouTube. Um, I got a podcast, Louis T Network podcast. Uh, wherever you get a podcast, you get the Louis T Network podcast. I also do it live. I'll be doing one tonight, as a matter of fact. Um, it's probably around like 10, 1030 or so. So um, I'm all over the place, man. But like you said, I cover all 32 teams in the league. After every primetime game, I'm live. So Mondays, Thursdays, Sundays. After that game finishes, I'm live talking about what nice. I saw. Um, I'm going to break down all the games on my podcast. I do it on every Tuesday. I break down all the games from that week's slate. And so um, I've got some things to say about your game and, you know, what, what happened against the the um, Eagles. And so, yeah, man, I mean, I'm all over the place. So I appreciate the, uh, the opportunity, man. I really appreciate yeah. that. You, you're, doing a, you're doing a great job, man, from what I've seen. And uh, I guess we'll we'll leave you with this. All right. One word response. Yes or no. Do you like the name commanders? <laughs> oh, that's you can't. Uh, All right. I won't do that to you. One word. <laughs> I I, I, I'm just kidding. It's, grow, it's totally growing. Kidding. It's growing, it's growing on. on you. Man. It's growing, it's growing on. on. Good for you. It's, so one you one good on the like, it's one of those things that. <laughs> You knew when the new name came, whatever it was, it wasn't going to be Redskins. It was going to, it was going to be gonna terrible be to the ears. So it was going to take time. That's Ten great. years from now, like, oh yeah, Commanders fine. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, I'm the already thing, there. The thing that sucks is there's no way to shorten Commanders. Nope. Ah. You know, you're the Commanders. You, you, yeah. You, obviously, you're not the Commies, right? Like, no, right. <laughs> can't be so, that. Can't be that, right? So um. there's no way to shorten Commanders. You're just stuck with. Being the commanders, just, or just Washington. know it'll forever be better than the guardians of Cleveland. That's yes. all you have to worry about. Oh, so. yeah, you got you got yeah. the good. No, we, um, hey man, we appreciate this and we will uh, continue on. to follow you. You're doing great work, keep it up, it. and um, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And uh, we will see all of you on the next one.